Welcome back! In this video, I'm going to be doing a more in-depth explanation of the auto-dispatching setting and how to set it up. So under your settings tab, you'll see this auto-dispatching setting, and basically, it gives you the ability to automatically dispatch orders to drivers without having to send single orders to specific drivers, just hand-picked. This will just automatically send it for you so it's more efficient and easier for your business. So in the settings tab, it is going to be off right now. So if you want to set it up, you can turn it on and then you have a couple options. So what we have here is the maximum assigned orders for drivers. This limits how many orders a driver is allowed to have. If you are a food delivery service, then we recommend doing two or three orders for your maximum. And this is because drivers can't really do more than two to three orders an hour. So we like to keep it at two, just so they can get their orders in at a pretty quick pace. The other options we have are assigned to, and then you'll have three options right now. We are planning on adding more of these options just so you have more to choose from, but this should definitely be enough to get you started. So first we have driver with minimum orders. So when you're auto dispatching orders, it'll automatically send orders to the driver with the minimum amount. So if they have zero orders, then they will get the next one automatically so that it's fair and so that each driver gets orders at some point. Um, if there's two drivers with zero orders, it'll be sent automatically to the driver that's closest to the pickup spot. If it's a restaurant or a business or anything like that, it'll be the driver that's closest to that location just because it makes sense. If they're both already at the restaurant, it'll be randomized so that each driver gets a fair chance of getting orders. So the next one is driver nearest to the pickup area. So this is if the driver does not have the maximum assigned orders, so let's say they don't have two orders and they're near the pickup area, the order will automatically be sent to them because they're nearest to the restaurant or the business where they need to pick up from. So the next one we have is driver going in the same area. If a driver is picking up an order, and they are going to a house somewhere in a neighborhood, and there's another person who ordered something that is within, let's say, two miles of that neighborhood, that driver will be sent an order automatically so that they can pick up both orders and then drive to that neighborhood and drop off both. It just really saves time, and it doesn't make two drivers go to the same area when one driver could easily do the same thing in the same amount of time. So what you're able to change is the area radius depending on where the driver was originally going to deliver. If there's another house or business that needs something within two miles, five miles, whatever you prefer, then you can set that and that'll be your radius for the driver getting those orders automatically. So those are the three options we have right now. Like I said, we're looking to add more to this so that you have more options. But this should be good to get you started and up and running. So that was a little more in-depth on the auto-dispatching setting and how to set it up for your business.